going on all the, the platforms. Will you check Facebook? I'm looking on Facebook. There we go. Here we are. Okay, you're okay. Uh, good to go. All right. Oh, let me just get him. Calm down. Da, 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 da. Hello, Anne and Shannon. I don't think he likes this binky. Let's try taking that out. It is the only one they had. I know. Barb, good morning. Dylan, greetings. Hello, Leslie. Just trying to get my baby to settle down. I'm just gonna do a quick little bounce. I'm prepping snacks. <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hi everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Give me just like five seconds to get my baby calmed down and then we can paint our Let's Make Art Matter. You look funny. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to like be low so they could still see my face. I can just put it on top cam. Great leg it. workout. They can see that. How are you doing? I think I'm, I think he's good. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Sarah Cray. Thank you so much for being here today. We are painting our Let's Make Art Matter for our May um, month, our May subscription box. I know that some of you might not have the May subscription box and hopefully you saw my video that I posted yesterday just explaining the delays. Um, but even if you don't have your May box, but you have other colors, you can absolutely still paint along with us. The three colors I'm gonna be using are magenta and dandelion yellow and berry blue. But of course, you guys can always change up the colors and do whatever you want. So, <clears throat> our postcard for the month of May is not to a specific person this time. I thought it'd be really great to give you guys the opportunity to think of someone that you know in your life that can maybe use a little bit of some love from you. My voice is going away. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's like I got a frog stuck in my throat. It's all the yelling. All the yelling that I'm doing at this baby. I'm just kidding. She's the quietest person you guys have ever met. <laughs> also, this is the easiest baby I've ever experienced. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to paint this beautiful bouquet. Ooh. Thank you. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys before we get started that these are, do you want to switch to top cam really quick, honey? Yep. These are all of the postcards I painted before deciding on this bouquet one. I originally was going to do a loose peony since we're doing such a like detailed peony in our subscription box. And so I just want to say that and well, then I switched it because I'm like, maybe I'll do a different flower. I didn't love it. And then I wanted to do splatter wildflowers, but that did not end up looking like splattered wildflowers. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say that um, it's okay to try something new. It's okay to try something new many times. It's okay to try something new 10 times and then decide not to do what you were trying to do because it just didn't work out. So we are all in this together. But not 11. If you've done it 11 times. If you've done it 11 times, you're allowed to be angry. No, but I'm just saying that um, I struggle just like you guys sometimes, and that's okay. I've been painting a really long time, and sometimes there are things that, for whatever reason, I can't quite get, and that's okay. Just move on to something else. It's not a big deal. So. Nick up says she's painting one of these for her mother and her mother-in-law, so oh, good for her. Oh, that's so sweet. And... For Let's Make Art Matter, for you guys that don't know, every month we include a postcard that is usually pre-addressed and pre-stamped. This month we left it blank because we wanted you guys to be able to choose who you sent it for. But it's just a way for us to gather as a community and send love and support to someone who might need it. Um, I also want to say that we did this in honor of Mother's Day, but I acknowledge that maybe not all of us have mothers to send this to. And so it doesn't have to be um, a mother, and maybe it doesn't even have to be a female figure. Maybe it's just someone that you want to say, I'm thinking about you, you're important, I love you, um, this is for you. So I just want to say that you guys have that freedom to change who you want to send this to. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, also, of course, 
um, you guys can participate this even if you don't have the subscription box. You can cut up one of those watercolor pieces of paper and absolutely turn that into a postcard. No problem. Or we sell blank postcards on our website, so you can totally join us. Okay. Oh, I guess I should move the pacifier off the <laughs> table. It's ambiance. <laughs> it's the mood right now. Okay. So, I named the three colors. Basically, we're looking at a pink, a yellow, and a blue. You can switch out the yellow and a blue for a green. I like to mix my greens, and also I like to have the option of making my colors a little bit more peachy, so I like mixing the yellow and the pink in there sometimes. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at Facebook trying to answer questions too. People want to know what brand this baby carrier is. <laughs> this is Happy Baby. Happy Baby Baby Carrier. I've heard good, I've heard good things about Sad Baby Carrier too. <laughs> Angry baby. Angry carrier. baby carrier. They're all good. Melancholy baby carrier. <laughs> Stoic. St Stoic. <laughs> so we were playing a game a long time ago, and you know when you like read words and you don't know how to pronounce them, but you read them in your head, like, uh, oh my gosh, what's the classic one? Epitome. 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 Yeah, you think it's epitome when you read it. Sarah thought Stoic was Stoic. So I used it. And I'm like, why are you being so Stoic right now? <laughs> so <laughs> Michael's like. Do you mean stoic? <laughs> I'm like, listen, I read a lot. <laughs> I just don't hear things a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, focus. Let's see. So we're going to get started. I'm using my round six and round two um, paintbrushes. The colors that I'm using one more time are magenta, dandelion yellow, and berry blue. And before we get started, I kind of want you to visualize the placement on this postcard because we're going to do these in chunks and it's kind of easy to have your composition get all wonky if you're not paying attention to um, where you're laying everything down. So the first thing that I'm going to do is do these top um, stems right here. Um, but when I do the top stems, I want to make sure that I'm not doing them too much on the side because we have to do florals there. And I don't want them to be too long because we still need to have room for a bow and the bottom of the stems. So just keep those things in mind as you're putting these stems. So I'm going to mix a little bit of my lemon yellow with the blue to get this really pretty green. And I'm going to use my round two and do thin lines. And to do thin lines, you want to make sure that you have a vertical hold. Your paintbrush is straight up and down, and you're doing light pressure. If it's easier for you to turn your postcard and do thin lines um, horizontally instead of vertically, you can totally do that. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to start probably about an inch, inch and a half above my paper, not perfectly centered, a little bit to the right-hand side, and I'm just going to start doing angled stems. And they're all going to be kind of coming from the same point. And then I, I turn my card to the side to do that. I'm going to straighten it to kind of see where things line up. And I need to have more kind of coming this way. So I'm going to do more that way. And that's all I'm going to do for now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom stem. So I'm going to leave a little gap for the bow. Just put nothing there. And I'm going to do the bottom stems. Now I am doing a soft curve at the bottom there because I feel like if my lines were just really straight without the line slightly curving, that would feel really, uh, I don't know, how do I say this? Um, too extreme, the angles would be too extreme. Do you see if we can do a close up on this actually since this postcard is really small? I totally can do a close up on it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm going to grab my round six. So using my round six, I'm going to grab just water. And using only water, I'm going to start making kind of circular shapes, roundish shapes, but they're kind of loose. So don't be like a perfect circle. Just kind of do like dashes all around, OK? If you mess this up, this could turn into balloons real quick. <laughs> Yeah, good. Okay, so I have my wet, and then while it's still wet, I'm gonna grab my pink. And if you want a peach tint, grab a little bit of yellow. And then I'm gonna drop in the pink to these water 
spaces and it's just gonna bleed and go. It's just gonna do its thing, you know what I mean? Like watercolor does, the reason why we love it. And so I, I put that, it's starting to bleed and now I'm gonna help it kind of like move along and feel a little bit more full. So I'm just gonna kind of move the color that's already there. Do the, do the talking that you do during this. Come on, little fella. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, little fella. Well, that's if it's not spreading. I feel like mine spread pretty good. If yours didn't spread at all, then you do your, come on, little fella, move around for me. It helps. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. So I'm just kind of doing roundish. And you'll notice that I'm not sitting here saying, I need to draw a perfect flower on this. I'm going to do sunflowers, and I'm doing this sunflower shape. This is very loose. This is more a general floral shape, so it's just round. Um, and I kind of like that that freedom of not having to do a perfect flower. And really when you have a bunch of flowers pushed together, um, it, they kind of lose their shape anyway. It just turns into this gorgeous thing of color and petals and you're not sure what's what. A bouquet of color. A bouquet, that's a great way <laughs> to explain it. A bouquet of color. So I have my little bouquet of color here and then I want just a little bit more peachiness in there. So I'm going to mix a really light peach by grabbing some water, grabbing a little bit of yellow, and some pink. There we go, that's a nice peachy color. And I'm just gonna start dropping that in there too. Um, somebody said, is the liquid color your preferred watercolor? Yes, liquid is my favorite, unless I am doing um, landscapes or like full on paintings on larger papers, then I'll switch it up um, because to do that, I need to switch the type of paper I'm using because this type of Canson is not super great for um, really heavy like landscapes. Um, I lost my train of thought, um, but with and then the the liquid watercolor works best with the canson so if i switch out my paper then i usually switch out my paints not all the time but sometimes i love the liquid because of how vibrant it is and how it moves in the water that's my favorite part it really has great wet on wet technique okay so now i'm just kind of doing dropping more color in there letting it move letting it spread You, of course, could also do water drops. And also, I want to say that you don't have to start your flowers right where your stems end. If you'll notice here, I have stems kind of going through, and then I have florals um, starting before the green. So you can, like, move your flowers down, which would be true because there would be some flowers in the front and some in the back. Maybe they're the type of flowers that grow along the stem instead of just on the top. Okay, so now I feel pretty good about the round shape of my flower top. You guys can mess with this. Maybe you want it to come around more. Maybe it's seeming too straight, so you need to like round out the top. You guys get to make those decisions of what's right for you. Sarah, do you have a good, uh, Debbie wants to know, if you have a good substitute for berry blue, what Ooh, other blues would you use? Berry blue is pretty much um, blue with like, it's a cooler blue. So it has purple undertones instead of green undertones or a solid blue. So if you have blue and purple, I would mix a little bit of purple in there. You got your berry blue. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do my little bow. So I'm gonna switch over to my round two which is my tiny little guy here, which is Brock. Sweet Brock. Sweet little Brock. I'm gonna grab sweet little Brock here. And I'm gonna grab, I did, I just chose the same color that was with my pink, but you guys can switch the colors if you want. And to do my bow, um, you kinda wanna do a triangle shape. Now, there's a bunch of different types of bows. There's some that are like really round and thick and floofy. I like the thinner ones with a thinner ribbon maybe, maybe like a twine. I'm a floofy bow guy all the way. <laughs> yeah? Oh yeah. You would do the ruffle, the ruffle, The big ruffle. ruffle 1985 called. Well, I am sorry, but we're just doing the kind of thinner stringy. Oh, somebody asked what kind of paper I'm using. This is the same watercolor paper that's in the subscription box and our kits. It's Canson watercolor paper. 
So that's what I'm using to paint. And okay, so for my bow, I'm just gonna do a little kind of dot where the knot would be. And maybe I need to do this one a little bit bigger since my space is so big. You see what I'm saying? Yep. The chunk I left was pretty big. Yeah, so a, a floofy bow. <laughs> maybe I'll do like a, th I'll do a thicker bow. Yes. So I'm gonna make my knot thicker. And I'm gonna do kind of a triangle shape, but the corners are gonna be rounded like that. All right, while you're painting, and I know this is a whole can of worms, this could be a whole series of tutorials on its own. Mm -hmm. But Donna wants to know, she has a hard time with flesh color. What do you suggest? Ooh. Flesh is rough. F flesh is difficult. I did do a heart hands tutorial where I painted hands in the shape of a heart and we talked about skin tone in that. So maybe you can watch through that tutorial and see if it helps you. Basically, what I would suggest is you have to use complementary colors um, to tone down the colors. But I will say that liquid watercolors are super vibrant. So they're not always the best to use for skin tones because of their vibrancy. Um, but we did it in the Heart Hands tutorial. So if you wanna watch that, that might be able to help you. Great. Also, just a little side note, happy birthday, Stephanie Warner. Oh, happy birthday, Stephanie. She's watching. Oh, hello, and happy birthday. I hope it's a great one. Okay, so here's my bigger bow. And these can be loose and messy. They don't have to be super detailed. And I'm gonna do kind of like a string, like blowing in the wind, you know, flowy. So I'm just- Floofy. Floofy, flowy, bowy. So I'm just gonna like do my string like that. And another one like that. There we go. That's cute. It's cute. It's beautiful. And the very last thing is to do splatters, which is the best. Move anything away that is expensive because paint gets everywhere. <laughs> and you're gonna get your brush wet. This one you don't have to hit off the side of the cup too much because we want it a little bit moist for that, for that water to splatter. I'm gonna pick up some paint. I'm gonna put my finger out and then I'm gonna hit my paintbrush on top and it will splatter. And it's really fun to do this when the, the balloons on the top are so wet because those, that water, um, that paint will hit that water and it'll just like go. It's really fun. Did we, when we were using Princeton brushes, were they Keenan and Brock? They were something else then, huh? Weren't they? Or were the Princeton brushes Keenan and Brock? Princeton and brushes were Keenan and Brock. Okay. I, but I really feel good about those names, so I'm gonna continue on. Okay, with someone's names. just saying like, you know, when you get multiple cats, you don't keep naming them. You know, fluffy. you know what? That's a good point, though. Yeah. But what if you really liked cats? I mean, didn't they do it a long time ago, where like children they would name the child the same <laughs> name twice? I don't know that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I just go to a morbid place with old timey kids. I just feel like the prairie and yeah. the pioneer. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that reminds me of the Office episode when Andy was just like, "My parents named me one thing, and then they changed it when my little brother was born. It was like his dad's <laughs> <Yeah>. name, <laughs> Andy." <laughs> It was like Walter Jr. Yeah. and they gave the younger brother Walter Jr. <laughs> okay, anyways, if you wanna do larger splatters, then what I would suggest doing is pick up paint first, then dip your paintbrush in the water. Don't hit it off the side of the cup and you will be doing a stabbing motion. Watcha, like that. Danger. I like saying watcha when I do this. Oh, I missed my paper there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, somebody said I had different names at the very beginning. My very first brush names were Hank and Keith. Those were the first ones. Michael picked those, they were great. Okay, so that's it, that's our, that's our postcard. Here's our pretty um, little bouquet of flowers for our postcard. Of course, if you don't want this angled, how I have it angled, you can do it straight up and down vertical and then just have your flowers kind of come out and around. You can do opposite. I mean, you guys can paint whenever you want. This is your world that you're making and it's going to your person that you want it to go to, so it's really up to you. Um, if you need any of these supplies, you can find them at letsmakeart.com and just, I hope you guys take a moment to do this because I know that it's really scary sending art, especially if you're new and you're not really comfortable yet and maybe you feel like you're not very good. I just wanna say that it's 
it's the thinking and the taking the time and um, the thought in this, that is what touches people. They don't look at these postcards that they get and look at their the best one and say, oh, that one means something to me. It's the fact that you guys take the time to say you're loved and you're important and I'm thinking about you. It's, it's those feelings and that's what they feel when they get these postcards in the mail is they feel love and they feel support and they feel like they're not alone. So I encourage you to do this even if you're new. I encourage you to get your friends to do this. Maybe you have kids you want to do this. Um, take the time to think of someone else and I think that if we do that more we'll just create a kinder world which would be really wonderful. It'd so, be so great. Um, I think that is all I got to say. I hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you so much for painting with me. Can you guys see Arlo? People want a moment of silence to see if we can hear him. Okay. I'll stop talking. Little grunts. You got it? Got it. Okay. Um, so thank you guys again for painting with me. My p &E tutorial released today. So if you're interested in a little bit of a challenge, look that up. And if you need any of these things, you can find them at letsmakeart.com. And I hope that's all I need to say because we're leaving. We're signing off. All right. Well, Bye, goodbye, guys. everybody. Bye. Happy Mother's Day.